Proper installation of the pulley on a Delco Remi 24SI and 28SI ensures the product will perform as promised. Unfortunately, Remi receives damaged product as a result of improper pulley installation. This tech tip outlines in six simple steps how to correctly install the pulley on a 24SI or 28SI. Step 1. Set the alternator in the horizontal position on a flat surface. It's critical to keep the alternator shaft in a horizontal position. If the pulley is installed when the alternator is in the upright or vertical position, the pulley may not be fully seated. This, in turn, results in a loose stack-up and early alternator failure. For step two, remove the pulley nut and cardboard spacer and then discard the cardboard spacer. As you're doing this, pay special attention to the orientation of the bearing slinger and spacer washer. These items commonly slide off the rotor shaft during removal of the pulley nut and cardboard tub. Step three, before installing the pulley, make sure that the spacer washer is placed against the bearing and the slinger is placed second against the spacer washer. Failure to place the spacer washer and slinger in correct order will result in rotor lockup and early alternator failure. For step four, you slide the pulley in place by hand. Never use a hammer to force the pulley on the shaft. This could result in pulley or bearing damage. Now, for step five, take the pulley nut that was removed in step two and use it to hand tighten against the pulley. Be sure to never start the pulley nut with an impact wrench. This could result in cross-threading or strip threads. Finally, in step six, we'll show two different methods to tighten the pulley nut. Option one, using a pass-through socket 15 16 secure the pulley nut so it doesn't move. Using a torque wrench with a 5 16 hex head socket placed in the hexagonal hole at the end of the rotor shaft, Tighten the rotor shaft counterclockwise to 95 to 108 newton meters or 70 to 80 foot pounds. For the second technique, first hold the shaft by placing a 5 16 hex wrench in the hexagonal hole at the end of the rotor shaft. Use a click type torque wrench with an open ended 15 16 wrench attached. Tighten the pulley nut to 95 to 108 newton meters or 70 to 80 foot pounds. It's important to note that if the pulley nut is not to torque or tighten to proper specifications, then the pulley stack up will loosen over time, resulting in early alternator failure. Additionally, never insert anything into the alternator to attempt to hold the rotor while tightening the pulley nut. Doing so will damage the rotor and the internal fan. One final note. The 24SI and 28SI Delco Remi alternators are both cooled with dual internal fans. If your original unit had an external fan, the fan does not get transferred over to the 24SI or 28SI alternator. If you were to place an external fan on the 24SI or 28SI, it would result in a loose stack up or pulley to belt alignment issues, both of which cause alternator early life failure. All Delco Remi alternators with dual internal fans need to follow this pulley installation procedure. Torque values will vary depending on the alternator series. Reference the installation instruction sheet for proper torque values. For further diagnostics, troubleshooting, or other questions, contact the Delco Remi Technical Support Center at 1-800-372-0222. You can also visit us online at delcoremi.com.